Hey there, guys. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X8. Last time we took on Gravity Antonian, and now... Looks like there's only one Maverick left. Could this be the last of them? Or is this just the beginning? It's been a long time since they've gotten their hands on Luminae. The elevator seems normal so far. That's just making me more nervous. Just try not to think about it. We've come this far. Let's just take care of that last Maverick and move on, okay? You're right, Axel. There's no time to be worried. Right. Let's go. Indeed, let's take on this last Maverick, which is Earthrock Trilobite, as the game pronounces it. I've always pronounced it Trilobite, but... I don't know. Maybe... I'll give it a shot. Depends on region. Earthrock Trilobite. Ready. This is a mine that produces ore used in space development. We think one of the large mechanoloids working here has gone maverick. Indeed it has. The whole gimmick of this level is that it's basically just a boss-only level. Kind of like Tidal Whale's level from X5, but far less aggravating because this boss doesn't take a million years to die. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, and everything this, that's in this thing's past is getting obliterated, so... Except you, oddly enough. You actually can survive getting stepped on by this thing. Although, maybe that's just a Rookie Hunter mode thing. Maybe if you weren't on Rookie Hunter, it would kill you instantly. <laughs> All right, fella, I need you to get out of the way. There's a purple metal there, which I don't know how to get. Oh, well. I'm actually not entirely sure what that crane is for, because that's not the crane that we're going to use here in a second to actually take him on. Anyways, you'll notice the mini-boss theme from uh, Avalanche Yeti's stage has started again, because now we actually get to put the herd on him. And you know what? With this, I think he wants me to put the herd on him. Unfortunately, everything it seem I seem to try to do to avoid that laser doesn't really seem to work. Now, after only a couple of hits, he'll turn around and start hightailing it, but... It might explode. Chase it down and stop it. Please hurry. Your turn! Leave it to me! Now, we're gonna want to switch to X here, because there's actually an armor piece down here. Which isn't even remotely hidden. But, you do need the... F you need a fire weapon to destroy it, so don't come here right away. X. I thought something like this might happen someday. So I've prepared parts for you. This time, I want you to try out Body Parts Eye. If you equip this, you will take half the damage you normally would. Equip this new ability and board the capsule next. Now that we have that piece, we can just keep chasing down this, uh, candlelight. By the way, if you shoot him, he will drop red metals. This is a pretty decent way to grind for them, I'd have to imagine. Now we get to fight him as a mini boss proper. Oh wait, first gotta do this. 
Now, from what I know, this part is the bane of speedrunners' existence, and I can see why that would be. Because I'm not trying to speedrun this game, and even I'm getting annoyed by this. For a Reploid, considering everything, uh, Trilobite's got a bit of a potty mouth. Oh, my, uh, double attack meter isn't full yet. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure it'll fill up soon enough. Anyways, the way you fight this mini-boss is pretty simple. You just jump up here and hit him with the frames. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, although he can grab you like this, and when he does, all you can do is switch to the other character. Hitting these with X is actually kind of tricky, if only because X doesn't have a really a decent close range option. Uh, although, unfortunately, sometimes he will do that where he'll move his head quickly enough that he actually won't get hit by it. Is that it? Yeah, he's down. Anyways, now... We're about to fight Trilobite, so... Yeah, a Lair, I almost called her Alia, is uh, gonna tell you about how Trilobite has this special armor that you have to knock off. It's kind of like how in uh, X1 with Armor and Armadillo, how you could knock his, arm his armor off with uh, his weakness. Basically the same idea. Warning! Warning. Do you realize that the ore we mine here is used in space development? Sigma, he must be behind this. What does he want with these minerals? My master? New world? Space resources? Even a decaying pile of scrap like you can guess with that many hints. No? The end of your old world has come! Yeah, whatever, travel bite. Anyways, his weakness is the squeeze bomb, which will utterly destroy his armor. You can knock it off with other attacks, but you can't destroy it. And after that point, he becomes pretty easy. He's one of the easier bosses in this game by far. Uh, once again, I would definitely see some people going after this guy first, especially since you can, uh, well, no, you need a fire weapon to grab the armor piece. Never mind. Anyways, as you can see, we're already on to his final face, so... Although, once again, this attack is uh, the bane of speedrunners everywhere. Because it just, it just takes forever. And... Didn't get close enough to double attack in there, but now... Gotcha! He's really weird looking without his armor on. Which is probably the point, but still. Anyways, with that, that is the final, uh, Maverick boss, and we get our final, uh, set of weapons. <laughs> Rekudon, Crystal Wall, Bound Blaster. Weapon get. It looked like a hard fight, but there was never any doubt that you'd come out on top. There's no doubt in my mind now. This whole incident has Sigma written all over it. Where is he, anyway? It's obvious that Sigma's involved, but things are bound to be different this time. It doesn't seem as if he's controlling these new Mavericks like puppets. They all seem to... be him. Do you mean copies of Sigma? I'm... not sure. So far, all the sites attacked have been related to the Jacob Project. Huh? 
I'm picking up the transmission. Uh -oh. oh, hey, free render. Oh, hello. What a surprise. Sigma! Long time no see, X. You just don't know when to quit, do you? Don't worry, X. It'll all be over soon and we'll never have to meet again. All the primitive space development of your world now belongs to me. What? Space? That's right. Our future lies in the sky. Your old world has outlived its usefulness. Maverick scum, what's your scheme this time? Scheme? This is providence. I'm merely ushering evolution along its natural path. Evolution? Oh god, he's gone full Magneto. So Sigma was really after the Jacob Project all along? If you stop to think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Space development and the emergence of new generation Reploids aren't unrelated. Oh, it's causing these new generation Reploids to go Maverick, huh? You can't let them get away with this. Sigma's transmission was disrupted by the orbit of the satellite. This is lucky. The elevator is still functional, so we can use it to get to him. Which we will next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.